Is it safe for me to get a COVID-19 vaccine if I would like to have a baby one day? Yes, people who want to get pregnant in the future may receive the COVID-19 vaccine. The COVID-19 vaccine, like other vaccines, works by training our bodies to develop antibodies to fight against the virus that causes COVID-19 to prevent future illness. There's currently no evidence that antibodies formed from COVID-19 vaccination cause any problems with pregnancy. There is also no evidence that fertility problems are a side effect of any vaccine. Both the American Society for Reproductive Medicine and the American College of Obstetricians and Gynecologists recommend the vaccine for pregnant women or those considering getting pregnant and in the future. And both organizations have noted there has been no loss of fertility reported among trial participants or among the millions who have received the vaccine. I've heard that we can go up to 42 days between doses. Is that true? We recommend getting second doses based on the CDC's guidance and the timelines identified in the EUA, which is 21 days for Pfizer and 28 days for Moderna. When this is not possible due to operational demands, the CDC has stated the second dose may be given up to 42 days past the first dose. After getting the COVID-19 vaccines, will I test positive for the virus? No, neither vaccine will make you test positive on viral tests, which are used to see if you have a current infection. There is a possibility that you may test positive on some of the antibody tests if your body develops an immune response to the vaccine, which is the goal of getting vaccinated. How do the COVID-19 vaccines work? Like other vaccines, the COVID-19 vaccines fight disease by producing an immune response within the body, causing them to produce antibodies that fight infections. The COVID-19 vaccines are both mRNA vaccines. They carry genetic material that teaches our cells how to create a copy of a harmless piece of spike protein, which is found on the surface of the virus, SARS-CoV-2. When our cells display the spike protein on the surface, it triggers an immune response, causing our bodies to produce antibodies. If the virus enters our body, these antibodies are what keep us from getting infected. What are the side effects of COVID-19 vaccines? Like any medication, vaccines can have side effects. The most common side effects include pain, redness, and swelling at the injection site, low-grade fever, fatigue, and headaches, which should go away in a few days. You might feel like you have the flu, but these symptoms are normal and a sign the vaccine is working. It's important to note that if you don't have side effects, this does not mean the, the vaccine isn't working. Allergic reactions are rare, but they have been reported, which is why there are safeguards in place. Everyone is monitored for 15 minutes after receiving the immunization. And at each vaccination site, there are trained medical personnel along with equipment and medications so that immediate action can be taken should anyone have an allergic reaction. If you have had an immediate allergic reaction to another vaccine, even if it was not severe, you should talk to your doctor before getting the COVID-19 vaccine to determine if it's safe for you to get vaccinated. Everyone is monitored for 15 minutes at each vaccination site after receiving their immunization. But those who've had an allergic reaction to another vaccine should be monitored for at least 30 minutes. Why should I get vaccinated against COVID-19? Getting vaccinated will protect you from COVID-19. Both the Pfizer and Moderna vaccines are 95% effective at preventing COVID-19. Getting vaccinated is also a safer way to build immunity against COVID-19 than getting the disease, which can be serious and have life-threatening complications. Even though many people who get COVID-19 have a mild illness and some have no symptoms at all, there is no way to know how it will affect you or what the long-term consequences of the infection will be. If everyone does their part and gets the COVID-19 vaccination, it will help stop the pandemic. Weren't the vaccines developed too quickly? Even though mRNA vaccines are new, the technology is not. Researchers have been studying and working with mRNA vaccines for other diseases, including flu, Zika, and rabies for decades. And even if SARS-CoV-2, the coronavirus that causes COVID-19 is new, coronaviruses themselves are not. Scientists have been studying them for a long time, which means when they needed to develop the vaccine, they weren't starting from scratch. 
While the COVID-19 vaccines were developed as quickly as possible, all rigorous safety processes and procedures required by the FDA were in place. Is the COVID-19 vaccine safe? The COVID-19 vaccines were only made available for emergency use after they were demonstrated to be safe and effective in large phase three clinical trials. What is an emergency use authorization, an EUA? Drugs and vaccines have to be approved by the Food and Drug Administration. This ensures that not only safe and effective products are available to the American public, in situations where there is good scientific reason to believe that a product is safe and is likely to treat or prevent disease, the FDA may authorize its emergency use under specific circumstances. Vaccines authorized for emergency use are offered on a voluntary basis. If I have already had COVID-19 and recovered, do I still need to get vaccinated with a COVID-19 vaccine? Yes, COVID-19 is a serious disease and we know that reinfection is possible. We also don't know how long natural immunity, the immunity you get from having a disease, will last. That's why it's highly recommended that when you are offered the vaccine, even if you've already had the virus, that you get it. Can I get a COVID-19 vaccine at the same time as another vaccine? You should wait at least 14 days before getting another vaccine, including a flu or shingles vaccine, if you get your COVID-19 vaccine first. And if you get another vaccine first, wait at least 14 days before getting your COVID-19 vaccine. How long will protection last following vaccination? At this time, we do not know how long the vaccine's protection lasts, but scientists are working to find out. That's why until enough people are vaccinated, we still need to wear masks and maintain six feet of social distancing until we know more. Can someone get COVID-19 from the vaccine? No. The COVID-19 vaccines do not use a live virus and it is not possible to get COVID-19 from vaccines. Can a vaccinated person still transmit COVID-19? At this time, we don't know whether some who have received the COVID-19 vaccine can still spread the virus. We do know that both vaccines are highly effective at protecting vaccinated individuals from being infected with COVID-19. That's why it's important for everyone to get the vaccine and why we need to keep wearing masks, physically distancing and washing hands and following other public health guidance. Can I still get COVID-19 after I have been vaccinated? It takes about one week after your second dose for the COVID-19 vaccines to be fully effective. And because the vaccines are about 95% effective, there is still a 5% chance that even vaccinated people may still get COVID-19. Based on what the research shows, getting a COVID-19 vaccine may keep you from getting seriously ill, even if you are in the 5% who still gets the virus. Am I required to get my COVID-19 vaccine at an MTF? No but service members who are not able to access a DOD vaccination site and receive the COVID-19 vaccine through non-DOD channels must provide documentation of their vaccination to their unit. Dependents of active duty service members, retirees, and other DOD beneficiaries who are eligible to receive the COVID-19 vaccine may be able to get it at either their local military treatment facility or a participating TRICARE provider or pharmacy.